It's February 4th, 1996, and the first ever CBJJ World Championships is about to go down. Some of the sport's top competitors who would eventually become its legends are all there. Guys like Hoyler Gracie, Ricardo Laborio, Fabio Gugel, Amari Pitech. This event had history written all over it. But one competitor, and one match in particular, would be the talk of the town and help not only make waves in the community from the result, but from the technical innovation that was displayed. It wasn't even a submission or a beautiful takedown. Nope, it was a sweep from Gracie Baja competitor, Roberto Holeta Magalhães. This unconventional and what some people would call at the time weird looking sweep would be the cherry on top of what would be known as Eskijitsu. But what is Eskijitsu? And who is Holeta? Well, I'm gonna tell you all about it. What's up everyone, Ricardo Balea here, and before I get to this BGJ history video on Holeta, I kindly ask that you smash that like button, make sure you're a subscriber to the channel, and let me know what you learned, if anything, from this video in the comment section. Now, let's get to this amazing BGJ story. Roberto Holeta Magalhães is a black belt from the legendary Carlos Gracie Jr. and competed for the Gracie Baja team. He is regarded as one of the all-time greatest BGJ competitors, not just because of the titles that he won, but because he was a technical innovator in the sport that helped to revolutionize it back in the 90s. The term Holeta is a nickname given to him. It means roulette, like a roulette wheel at a casino, which is in no coincidence a metaphor for how you would see him often compete, being one of the first sport players to utilize inversions as a mean to reverse opponents, but we'll get to that later. Holeta's path to jiu-jitsu surprisingly began with traditional martial arts such as karate, but much like many others before and after, he made the switch to jiu-jitsu in Brazil, once getting his first exposure to the art during his late teens. Originally born in Aracaju in the Brazilian northern state of Sergipe, it wasn't until Holeta moved to Rio de Janeiro where he began training at the Gracie Baja team, where he began to evolve and take the art and sport seriously. Gracie Baja at the time was particularly known for having very talented team with its top competitors having a strong emphasis on closed and open guards. They had a who's who of top level guys and other innovators such as Henzo Gracie, Marcio Feitoza, Roberto Gordo, Mino Shembri, Vinicius Dracolino, Mauricio Tangina, and many more. And it was in those training rooms and that environment where Holeta was able to fine tune his own game and style. During this time, his study of Jiu Jitsu began to flourish when he took it upon himself to try and evolve his technical game, specifically with his guard, as he felt he was not superior athletically to his training partners and competitors. So he drew upon his engineering background to study technique with further depth and began to come up with new positions and moves based on his body type and flexibility, using the engineering elements such as systems, structures, angles, and more. This new analytical approach to Jiu Jitsu allowed him to cultivate many new techniques, grips and strategies that were not in the regular Jiu Jitsu Academy's curriculum, especially during this era. His style, specifically referring to his guard style, which he became most known for, was one of the first to utilize a more relaxed base and implementing modified grips on lapels while inverting his position from the bottom. He began to test his new style and techniques in competitions and made a name for himself as competitors simply found themselves unable to figure out this new Jiu Jitsu game he was playing. So when they saw him compete, they would refer to his game as weird and his style would be given the nickname Eski Jitsu or Weird Jiu Jitsu. And in 1996, his weird Jiu Jitsu style would be put to the ultimate test as he faced off against one of Carlson Gracie team's best top players, Valid Ismael. Ismael, who was originally from Manaus, was known for being a smasher and pressure passer, which was very much the style of the Carlson Gracie team, who were big rivals of Gracie Baja during this time. The two faced off in the semifinals of the medium heavy division. After an intense stare down, a roaring crowd erupted. The match began and as expected, Huleta pulled guard first. The match from that point on was Waleed trying to stack, overhook, smash and pass through Huleta's guard as Huleta was constantly adjusting his grips, looking to control distance and baiting Valij to overcommit. The overcommitment of his opponents was what Huleta would use for the timing of his counterattacks as he would allow them to get into almost optimal passing position before he would sweep and reverse them. Valid, obviously knowing this, was careful so as to maintain his base in top position, and after a few minutes of pressuring through, 
Valid was able to force Holeta to all fours in the turtle position. Holeta defended and almost reversed the position and escaped, but the tough man from Manaus maintained his composure, forcing Holeta to his back. Then, with only a few minutes remaining, and no actual points scored yet, Holeta began to reveal his secret weapon. He rolled over to his knees while maintaining his grips on Walid's pants, but this time had one of his legs in between Walid's and under his hips. This would be the crucial part of the lever and sweep. As Walid was still on top, Holeta inverted and raised up Walid using his legs and grips high in the air, sweeping him away. This gave enough room to not only get to Walid's back, but score by placing his hooks in, winning the match. Oleta later on moved to win the division, defeating another Carlson Gracie member, Babel Duarte, in the finals. But it was this later named helicopter sweep that would go down in history with his match in Valid in 96. The win over Ismail would be the birth of not only one of the most popular inverted sweeps ever, but also start the long career of Holeta, where he won four world championships as well as four Pan Am gold medals. The helicopter sweep was just one of Holeta's Eski Jitsu techniques, and his trend of surprising opponents using this new style would continue on as he repeated as world champion in 97, 98, 99, and 2000, defeating a who's who's list of legends such as Saulo Ribeiro, Mario Sperry, Marilo Bustamante, Amari Bitech, and Fernando Margarida. 2000 was one of Holeta's last years competing at Black Belt and has since then occasionally shown up in exhibition matches in Rio and continues to teach his style of Jiu Jitsu and although he is removed from today's worldwide competition scene, his weird style of Jiu Jitsu can still be seen with what is fairly common inverted techniques and used by many generations even till today by the sport's top competitors. Comemora a vitória de Roberto Magalhães em cima do Valide Ismail. Foi uma vitória incrível nos últimos segundos de luta. Não foi nem no último minuto. Foram nos últimos segundos. Ele demonstrou realmente muita técnica. E o Valide perde a invencibilidade. É verdade. Uma vitória sensacional de Roberto Magalhães. É verdade, ele estava com a luta ganha até esses últimos 10 ou 15 segundos. Foi incrível o que aconteceu.